Good evening, everyone. This is Kathy with Plan Happy With Me. If this is your first time here, thank you for stopping by. I hope you see something you like and want to come back. If you are a repeat planner friend, I am excited to share tonight's Winter Wonderland Challenge from the Dutch Planner Challenge. Their theme is once a month. And so their their theme for the whole month of January is a Winter Wonderland. I'm going to be using this in my vertical planner that I use as a daily journal. So let's get started. Now I printed these stickers um, from an Etsy shop. Yes? No, this was not from an Etsy shop. This was a digital scrapbook um, situation here. And um, so, we, and it's going to be a very quick one tonight, ladies, because this is is going to be a very simple layout. It allows me plenty of room to do my um, uh, journaling, but it also uh, provides a little winter wonderland to it. If this is your first time here, you're going to notice that I use the Happy Planner uh, guides a lot when I'm designing. Um, the re they provide a lot of glare in the camera, so I tend to leave them off camera while I'm uh, sharing my ideas with you. So I need some noisy wax paper here. And um, this is a planner that has to be redated. So because I do use it for journaling, I really just want the boxes. I don't really, I do care what the date is, so I actually create my own date covers. Um, so, this particular kit uh, came with some something I could use as a shape for the date cover. I pick, color picked what I wanted, put it in here, and then put my own dates in it. Um, so we're going to start off with that. I was trying to decide if I wanted a little bit of washi behind the dates. They're quite large, so don't think I need it. So I think I'm going to pass. And the washi I would probably use, you'd see through it. So we're going to say no. So in the interest of time and the technic magic of technology, I'm going to show you basically one sticker. And I'm going to put you on pause. And I'm going to come back and do when I'm done. So hang tight and I'll be back in a flash. Boom. And just like that, we have dates. So the first thing and next thing I want to do is I'm going to cover this peachy note box. What I have, we'll go over this, um, but it might just show a tiny bit. So by covering it, I know that it's not going to stick out. And I'm going to um, apply some washi tape. Um, I really, really like this layered rough cut washi tape look. So I'm going to just, well, I'll show you. I'm just going to put this down like right about here. I'll show you why in a minute. So you see how the ends are just rough cut? I just hold my finger and pull the tape. And then I layer it in whatever fashion you want. Big, little, little, big, whatever you think that you want in the end. And I make sure that the edges are, you know, maybe one is longer than the other. And then I really like this, this center one here. And I'm going to make it a little bit longer on the end. If I don't like the finish, I can change it. Now this layout is very simple tonight, ladies. And so because of it, I decided it was a little bit too simple. So I added a piece of washi tape that is very, very lightly colored right through the center and I'm going to leave it rough cut on the edges because this is rough cut. You might not even be able to see this very well in the image. Okay and then it's going to get one rather large sticker to go on now on this side. Um, remember this is a journal for me so I need to have at least two boxes on each day to write. So, um, this 
was a bunch of images that I put together to create this collage. And I want a whiteout pen because it's gonna go right up the center of my photo or my collage. Okay, I had a little um, issue that I have to resolve. I had to take off my sticker. And so the crisscross pattern that I'm not a fan of on this side of the sidebar totally shows through my sticker. So I'm going to take some white sticker paper and fix that problem. So I will be back in just a minute. Okay, ladies, I'm back. And with the magic of technology, I was able to cover that pattern that was showing through my sticker. Okay, and so now we're ready to place this sticker. Hopefully I can get these lines to line back up. And I think that's gonna be good, much better. Now he doesn't have those lines shining through his face, although he has that line, but I think we're just gonna have to live with it. I don't know though, I don't like it. <laughs> I thought I got it back where it was and there's a big old line down his face, but I think we're gonna have to leave it because um, I don't think I can lift that sticker again. So, and in California, we are, don't get, or we're not able, we're not old enough to get undo. So we don't know how to guess, use it properly. So um, we have to go without. I have one last sticker. I just want to kind of put right here. I don't think I got that on square. There we go. That's better. And then I covered up the January, so I cut a January out of my months that I had, that I printed myself. And that fixed that problem. And then I have one more sticker that sort of matches that blue. And it's just a word sticker, a um, quote sticker. And I think we're just... I want to kind of stick it really close to it kind of looks like it's part of, it's a little bit crooked. So let's, oops. Let's go ahead and put it like right there. There we go. And now, hopefully it looks okay. And that's all we're doing to this side, ladies. I have plenty of boxes for journaling. This is a holiday, so I think I'll be good for that process. So that means we're gonna move over to page two, and it's not much different than page one, or side A is pretty close to side B. I already have the date stickers on, so I'm gonna put that washi, just cause it's so empty. A little bit of washi here, which keeps it still kind of delicate looking and yet um, allows a little more color on the page. And then we have another washi group that goes down here. And this time the um, circle is not quite so strong, or I should say large. So um, I'm thinking this will be a little easier to put up. Okay, so I'm gonna put the washi on, maybe. There we go. Like right about here. And there she goes. Okay. Now I'm going to cut this, the trim off here that the excess that went over. And those is, this was a really easy, simple layout, ladies. <laughs> we had to, I struggled to get it on today, but that's okay. Here's our sticker that goes with it. And then we have the word I'm going to stick over here. It sort of mirrors the word we put on the other side. And then I will have plenty of room for journaling. 
in this winter wonderland. I think I want it to come down a little bit farther. Oops. Oh, we still have release paper back there. Okay. All right. Well, not the smoothest layout. And for having so little pieces, but I really like the way it turned out. It's really kind of wintry and quiet and subtle and all those things. And it still gives me all the room I need to journal. And you know, when I journal, I add things to it. So I'm kind of waiting to see the things that I'm going to add to it. Um, I have this, this winter blue and this purple color that I can pull from in different places to give me um, some journaling um, emphasis. All right. I hope you guys had a good time, even though it was a rough start. Thanks for hanging in there with me. I think it turned out really great. And I'll see you guys in the next video. If you want to see more, think about subscribing and hitting that like button. I'll see you in the next video. Good night.